the previous training video, we introduced you to customer accounts, which are also known as groups in USCAD. In this training video, we will introduce you to client accounts, which are also known as group members in USCAD. In USCAD, the group is basically the organization that is paying for services, and group members are the clients that actually receive these services. You would add one or more group members for each group you create. Let's get started. To see your current group members, head on over to the group members option, which is found under the people menu. Here, we can see a list of all the group members of various organizations that have signed up with us to receive services. There are two parts in USCAD that make up a group member. They are the user account and the group member profile. Both parts are required for every group member in USCAD. We have a new company called the Tasty Pizza Company that wants to pay for services for one of their employees. We need to create a new client account for this employee. To do this, we will click on the Add a User to a Group button. If we have already created a user account, we can just type in the name of the person here. Since we have not yet created the user account, we will press the Create a New User Account button now. Creating a new user account allows a person to log into USCED using a username and a password, as well as provide a place in USCED to hold some other information, such as the name of the person. Let's give this person a name. Now let's click on the Account tab. Here is where we will give this person a username and a password. We can choose to create the username and password manually, or we can let USCED do this automatically for us. Let's press the button to automatically generate username and initial password. As you can see, USCED has taken the person's first name and last name and created a username with that. USCED has also created a random initial password for this individual. It's considered initial as this is the only time you will have access to that user's password. Once that person changes his or her password, it's not possible to have access to the password anymore. Clicking on Save Changes button saves this new user account into the database. Now we are back on the Add a User to a Group screen, and as you can see, the user account we have just created has automatically been selected. The only thing left to do on this screen is to give the name of the group we want to add this person to, which would be the Tasty Pizza Company. Now hit Save Changes. USCAD has created a new group member profile using default values. Now we are given the opportunity to make changes to this group member profile. The most common changes are to allow this person to create their own service requests when they log in, to update the email address for this person, and to add some notes about this person. To allow this person to make service requests on their own, we would switch to the Attributes tab, and then change the Can Make Service Requests setting to Yes. To update the email address, we would switch to the Email Addresses tab and fill in one of the available email address fields. To add some notes about this person, we would switch to the Notes tab and fill in either the Notes or the Internal Notes fields. The Notes field is used primarily to share information about this client with your service providers. If you write a message in the Internal Notes field, it becomes private and only available to you and your staff. Now we are ready to save everything. Click on the Save Changes button. We have successfully added a new group member to a group and service requests can now be created for this person.